What's up, guys? SS Joe Ducati Boy, and bringing you a review of Joker 2.0. This thing was well worth the wait. I flipped the lid open, and I decided, you know what? Let me just film the whole thing. I didn't take it all out yet, so well worth the wait. Got them a few days ago. Opening them up today. The box is beautiful. It just says Joker everywhere on it. Got this nice mat. Matt, just there's like nothing on it, it's just a cardboard feel, you know, with this picture here, the exclusive sticker there. Nice big box. You got the bad emblem there with the ha ha ha. And you got a couple of th things here and there. Hot toys. Uh DC Comics. The side is just simply says DX and the Joker 2.0. Nothing else on the box, the usual warning and hazards there. So, big box, definitely big box because it's got to hold the table and all that stuff. So, nothing there. Alright guys, give me a second and I'll open her up. Alright guys, so, got a nice magnet going on there, like with all the DXs and of course they changed the design, now it opens up all the way from over here instead of up top so there's less ripping but really cool cool box a little purple inside and it's got a bit of a different purple it's glossy on the ha 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 part of course you got why so serious and joker 2.0 then you get this little lid once you open it up of course you get the little playing card here with the real safety pin there you could read there if you want and let me just pop this out on the back it just looks like a normal card you can see they poke the pin right through it pretty neat they didn't have to give you that but still cool and here is the bad mofo you got the exclusive accessories there you got right here the laughing face. Look how sadistic that bastard looks. Just beautiful. And of course this thing comes like that. So, comes packaged pretty much like most DX figures come. Then you open up the inside and you pretty much, you got the chair going on there some money and I'll show you guys all this shit later alright guys let's take a quick look holy cows this thing comes with broad freaking accessories it's well worth the money guys the amount of stuff you get it's nuts alright so it comes with this typical you know DX base over here See a nice rust color in it. You got the articulated uh, LED lights there and the nameplate. So pretty nice. You get that. Of course, you get the backdrops of the police interrogation scene. You get that piece with the door and you get two of these pieces, you know, with the mirrors. And. They give you Velcro to put on the back so you can keep those pieces together. Just look at this. This is so much stuff. You get the table, the chair. Of course, you get that little playing card. You get the lamp, the extra head. You get the machine gun there. You get the pistol, the shotgun. You get two knives, nope, three knives, sorry. You get the switchblade there, the butterfly knife. You got this other knife right there. I don't know what the hell kind of knife that is. You get two of the blades that you stick in a shoe. The pencil, the handcuffs, which are really nicely detailed. You also get a shitload of playing cards and you can see right there they're nicely detailed on both sides 
and each individual card looks like it's different so that's a pretty neat little touch it's just cool I'm really impressed with that look at the little details on that shit these things are small and you also get a ton of money I mean the stack if you look at that stack those are there's got to be like over 50 bills there they're only one-sided though but that's no big deal but really really good detail on them you can see right there got George Washington with the lipstick on them pretty cool I like it like I said it's just one-sided though wish they could have given us double-sided like a real bill but hold on guys it's so small I'm trying to grab it for you so there's the bill but you can see in the back it's just nothing on there if you get the exclusive version of course you get the extra little mask which I'll show you how nicely detailed it is with those little markings little hair on top really sweet really cool mask I wish they would have given you a strap though so you could put it on no strap but other than that beautifully painted paint apps are awesome on this piece so you get the mask with the exclusive version you get the little box for the detonator it's nice it's a nice little touch a little cardboard box and of course you get the detonator with the little key on it give me a second let the camera focus in on it nicely detailed really nice see the little wires there a little key even the ring moves a little circuit board on the other side pretty cool so that's the exclusive version and the other thing you get is a plethora of hands you got what three three six or eight so all together you get 14 hands you get six non-gloved and eight gloved hands of course what else would you expect from hot toys beautifully detailed let me show you the the non-gloved hands though I like the touch that they put on it. They made them look dirty. See the fingernail? Uh, looks nice and dirty. Even the palm of his hand is nice and filthy. Some of them have like a little bit of paint on them. Let's see if I can find one that's a little dirtier. You can see this one right here. Oh, it just rubbed off on my own hand. You can see they're nice and dirty. All of them are on the fingers. Let's see, that was on the hand, but... Alright, so the hands, really nice touch on the hands. The lamp, got a nice little magnet on the bottom. It's not a functional lamp, but nice touch. The little light bulb inside, and it's got the little wire that you plug in pretty neat I like that the guns of course what else do you expect nicely detailed you can pull the, the magazine out spring loaded as usual and it's got the long magazine like he did in the movie got the bullet going there and the same thing with the machine gun of course beautifully detailed this piece moves and you got the this function right here can't tell you the name of the gun because I know shit about guns but it does have some weathering really nice details on it I love it the shotgun I'm so happy I've been wanting a shotgun for the other joker now I don't have to buy one it is pump action it's not spring loaded but it does move so that's cool slight slight weathering on it not a whole lot 
but definitely a nice touch. I thought you were only going to get one of these blades, but you actually get two of them. So don't lose them. They look like they're real metal, and I almost can't tell the difference when I feel it, but I'm pretty sure they're plastic. Even the pencil, if I can find it, there it is. You see it's got the eraser on it. It's got a nice little tip on it. It's awesome. Handcuffs are functional, of course. Got cool little details on it. And the switchblade, of course, like the old Joker. Functional. I was happy. It's really cool detailing on this. The switchblade is functional. You can fold it and lock it into place with that little piece. Really, really nice. And let me show you this other knife if I don't lose the fucking thing. I don't know if it's some kind of carving knife or whatever. But you can see it right there. A little sunken in. Nice detailing on that. So that pretty much does it for accessories. Let me give you one quick look at the chair. The chair, you can see it's got some nice scratches on it. Even some dirty parts right there. Just like the table. This is just hard plastic. Looks like real leather though, sort of. Got these little pads on the bottom so it doesn't scratch whatever surface it's on it's nice i like it it's cool you can see the nice dirt there and the table last accessory you can see a lot of cool little scratches and marks on it you got the hole for the pencil the little magic trick and it's nice and big you can see right there, it's got the little padding as well. So, pretty cool. And last but not least, you get the extra pegs down there. And of course, this beautifully sculpted second head on him. Really cool. Love it. I'll give you a better look at it in a bit. Well guys, here he is, 1-6 scale Joker 2.0. This thing is beautiful. I am beyond impressed with this. It's definitely one of the figures I've been wanting really bad. And it's just, I'm almost speechless. This thing is so beautiful. Well worth the money. Well worth the money, guys. You get so much. I just showed you all this shit you get with the accessories. But let's take a look at the actual bad boy himself. Just, oof, Everything is so accurate on this guy. The shirt, the tie, the vest. He's missing the one little button there like it was in the movie. It's just badass, this guy. I love it. Just look at this fucking awesomeness. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright guys. Let's take a close look at this bad boy. First off, you can see the shirt is accurate in the pattern. They changed the shirt from the old, the original uh, DX Joker. The tie is different. It's a nice material. It's got a nice feel. Everything is nice. Now, in other videos, when I saw the jacket, it looked a little thick to me, and it kind of reminds me of a bathrobe. And in real life, I'm definitely happy with it, but it does look a little thick to me compared to the old one, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But look at the material. It's so soft. It feels like suede. It's beautiful. The material is great that they used. The pants are nice and accurate. Awesome little pinstriping. Look at the material on the shoes. It's real material. They're not sculpted anymore. You can see the real laces there. He's got the little tiny slit right there to put that blade that pops out of his shoe. Look at those cool little holes he's got going on. The stitching. The cut and sew is beautiful on this figure. Fucking awesome. Look at that shit. Just great. 
even the buttons I'll show you in a bit the buttons are nice and sewn in there they're not like some of the some of the, our figures where they're just like glued like Wolverine's the button on his shirts is just they're just glued so they fall easily but you can see the little stitching on the inside of how they actually sewed them in let me see if I could show you real quick you can see the stitching right there awesome job I'll give you some different poses and show you the different looks on him well, let's take a look at this head sculpt first then we'll look at the laughing one obviously you got the purrs parallel eye rolling system but just look at the paint apps on this bad boy he's kinda got a semi gloss paint thing going not not too shiny I think it's just right I like it I'm definitely happy with it but look at that that's fucking awesome that is great sculpting you could 100 percent see Heath Ledger in there Pose the eyes however you want. They changed the the sculpt of the hair. It's just fucking great. Phenomenal job. Look at that, how the paint is smeared. It's coming off. It's a little bit on his hair. Just great, great attention to detail with this thing. Fucking awesome. Now the jacket looks a little thick to me, like I said before. He looks so cool with the shotgun. I'm going to keep him like this. But here is the old guy right here. Still, still happy with him. He still looks badass. You can see the difference in the hair. A little bit. Actually, the paint, yeah, it's a little bit lighter on him. But look at that hair sculpt and look at his this one was definitely nicer definitely glad I kept the old one I like him enough to keep him so but here's a good look at both of them together you could I kind of like the older jacket better because it's not as poofy so you could see and I, one thing I like about the older jacket, it looks, the whole outfit looks like he's been wearing it for a while. It looks a little bit dirty. It just looks like it's been used. Uh, this one looks brand spanking new. I haven't seen the movie yet. Well, I can't say yet. I've seen it a ton of times, but I haven't seen it lately. So I'll definitely watch the movie later on and see exactly which one fits better so some differences you can see that's like a like a ruby red on the inside while this one has an orange look to it the purples are definitely different purples you can see this one is a lot darker compared to the new one the head sculpts obviously the new one is better but I wouldn't go throwing the old one away it's still Heath Ledger not as good as the new one, but still definitely cool. Also, I love this pose. So the new one does not come with the grenades. You can't do this pose. But the vest, this one, it's like a darker green, like avocado-ish. That one, you can see how much lighter it is. And take a look at the ties. You can see that's an accurate print of the tie. This one looks different. I think the other one's better. Also, look at this shirt right here. It's not accurate compared to this one. That one's definitely better. So there's some, some differences right there. The colors, a couple of the patterns. One guy said that the old guy, the the tie didn't have a knot in it but clearly it does and it goes all the way around you can see the knot right there the new one does have a knot as well it's a little bit nicer though the collar fits nicer so I'm definitely stoked and happy to have both of these guys oh let me show you the old shoes you can see they were okay for the time but they're definitely sculpted and not nearly as nice the old base is just like a silver 
while this one is like a dark gray with the rust colors this was obviously purple that one's black so let's see if I could lift his pants here you can see the socks right there on a new one they come up high they're like up to here on him so the old one does have socks too see they're a lot lighter color though see the socks right there so this old one definitely has some cool detailing to him I think I like the jacket better just this one definitely reminds you of like a a bathrobe so there's the new head sculpt fucking beautiful there's the bank robber joker see if I could get them both in frame this one is still a sick head sculpt love it love it and let me grab real quick the mask of the new one so you could see a comparison uh, let me get it in frame here so there's the two masks this is the new one that it comes with that's obviously the bank robber mask so you can see the difference still cool but the bank robber has a strap on the back this one doesn't so you got that one there's the second head sculpt from the bank robber awesome head sculpt too love it looks cool on the joker's uh the nurse one now another reason i could not get rid of him is because you get this outfit and this head sculpt that looks so much like heath ledger to me that's just an awesome fucking head sculpt without the paint so could not get rid of this love this fucking look the outfit the detail on this outfit is just beautiful just that head sculpt is awesome I don't see how you could get rid of that awesome look awesome little details everywhere the white gloves Right down to the shiny fucking shoes. It's fucking awesome. So, what I'll do is I'll put the, the new head sculpt. See if you guys were thinking of putting it on the old one. And I'll put the smiling one on that one. I'll switch it around for you guys so you can see. Now, I ordered two of him. One uh, exclusive and unfortunately I didn't get both at the same time because fucking Hot Toys only shipped out the exclusive version to, to uh, Sideshow so you gotta wait till next month to get the regular version so for now I got this but I definitely wanted both so I could display one just in the vest like the police outfit one I mean when he's in the jail cell and then I'd have the two extra heads to use on these two guys. I definitely want to probably use that extra head that I'll have of it on this one. And I'll put the extra smiling one probably on that or some shit like that. So if you guys got only the regular version, you're going to have to wait till next month. Alright, so let me show you all the heads real quick. Well guys, here's the second head sculpt, the smiling head. This is awesome. Fucking brilliant. The his uh paint is obviously a little bit more it's, it's smeared differently on this one. He's obviously smiling. It's incredible how they could do these little fucking tiny teeth. And you could just see his tongue in there. That's wicked, wicked. You got some paint on the neck. A little bit on the eyes there. It's just sick. You still get it on the hair a little. Obviously the eyes are closed up on this one. I actually prefer the other one. But this one's still beautiful. Definitely, definitely. Still a great head sculpt. Just trying to get close for you guys look at that paint those paint apps are beautiful 
Fucking outstanding job these guys do. The hair looks great, of course, still. So there's the head on the the old body. Looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll put the extra one when I get the other the other Joker in the regular one. So that looks pretty cool. I think I'm gonna leave this one on for now like that. That's on the older body. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys. So I put the regular new head on the bank robber Joker. And I'm in love with it. This looks so fucking cool. So when I get the second Joker, I'm definitely putting the, the spare head on this. This just looks fucking badass. He looks great with his head. I always love this look, the bank robber joker. The head's always been cool. But this new one just, it fits great. I don't know why. I'm in love with the, the new head on this body. Here's the old one. The old bank robber head. But I'm definitely going to put my, uh, since I'm going to have an extra one on this just looks cool as shit I think let's try it on the nurse joker my well, guys I put the new joker's head on the nurse joker it definitely looks better 100% this is the one this is the second head from the bank robber joker it was all right, but maybe I'll, since I'm going to have so many extra heads, I'll just hook them all up with the new one. It's definitely more accurate looking like this, so maybe it's something you guys might want to do. So there's the two new heads on the older bodies. Definitely going to keep, obviously, that one on it, but, all right, let's check something else out. All right, here's a second look at uh, both heads side by side. You can see way different, obviously. I don't know. I just, I see Heath Ledger more on the the normal looking head compared to the smiling one. Smiling one is definitely awesome. Take nothing away from it. It's it's a beautiful head sculpt. Just personally, I like that one better. But definitely glad we get two. For the price we paid, we might as well. So this is obviously the per system. You got the magnet back there, the head detaches. The joystick on this one's a little different. Usually they protrude a little bit longer. They stick out. This one looks like it's definitely made for just your thumb. Where the other long ones you could use both fingers. So still very functional. Definitely cool. Definitely no googly eyes on this bad boy. Look how sadistic this bastard looks. That's just one sick ass head sculpt. And obviously you get the back of the head right here with the magnet on the bottom it goes on nice and easy it slips on under there and bingo that's it you can barely see the seam it's there but it's in the back of the head so definitely great job they did you can see the hair it's definitely it's layered got different layers it's not just a flat look and these parts right here are nice and soft so definitely awesome all right just want to give you a quick look what he looks like with uh just that second jacket on looks pretty cool i mean he didn't i don't remember him just wearing that jacket in the movie but also wanted to show you the nice little detail on the chain. Hangs nice. 
Goes from there, loops around to the back. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, here's another look. Obviously, without both jackets, you can see how nice the patterns are on his shirt. They did a really nice job on the vest, everything. This is definitely the head you want to use for this scene. That's why I got two of them. Definitely looks awesome, especially with that background. Looks great with the table, the little lamp. You could, it's got a magnet on one, one side, and you plug the wire in right under there. But you can see he sits pretty well on the chair. Looks cool because it exposes his socks. So definitely looks cool like this. Definitely will be posing one of them like this. And the other one with the shotgun. So just be careful guys when you're taking it off. Because some of the buttons are fragile. Most of them are sewn in. But let me show you on the... I think the gray jacket, you can see it really nicely tailored. Nice lining on the inside, but just be careful not to pull these little buttons off. They do not look like they're sewn in. They look like, yeah, yeah, they're just glued on. Like the Wolverine shirt, so these fall off easy. Luckily, I paid attention to that shit. Don't want to rip those buttons off. And real quick, there's a nice, really nice job. You see, he's got a nice cool little pocket on the inside of the main jacket. Look how beautiful the lining is on this thing. Really sweet job they did on this. These buttons, really nice too. But these are also don't look like they're sewn in so be careful with these buttons as well the main buttons obviously like I told you in the beginning these are sewn in so they're not as fragile as the ones on the by the cuffs so so there's that look guys all right guys one last thing I want to show you is obviously these are different scales but for me definitely the best head sculpt ever of Heath Ledger is the Enter Bay one quarter scale yeah you know they say it's easier to sculpt because it's bigger but whatever just that for me is this is still awesome the new DX Hot Toys but look at that that is fucking Heath Ledger all the way from upside down, left, right, whatever angle, that's Heath Ledger. This one is second best to me. I know they're different scales, but I just wanted to show you guys what they look like. And yes, they're different expressions, but just that's Heath Ledger. This is too, but that one's just a little bit better. So if you guys can afford it, look, even the hair looks better. If you guys can afford it, definitely also get the quarter scale. It's beautiful. But not to take anything away from this new uh, Hot Toys. Still beautiful, still amazing. Just want to do a quick comparison. Also, look how the jacket hangs off this bad boy. It hangs beautifully. It's just, it doesn't look as like the new one on the DX does to me it's still great don't get me wrong I'm happy with it but this one looks like a fucking what's it called uh, a bathrobe to me the material it feels nice but wish they would have done it like this see how it's thin it looks more realistic this one looks a little too poofy for me but that's just nitpicking it's still a wonderful figure. So, all right, guys. 
Well guys, that's pretty much it. I highly, highly, highly recommend this guy. I'm definitely glad I got two, and I'm definitely glad that I kept the old one. So, that being said, this guy is 100% beautiful. Uh, I'll leave you guys with a couple of cool little poses, I guess. And I'll catch you on the next review. SS Joe Ducati Boy, out. Scars. You want to know how I got them? Come here. Hey. Look at me. So I had a wife. She was beautiful. Like you. Who tells me I worry too much? Who tells me I ought to smile more? Who gambles and gets in deep? The sharks. Hey. One day they carve her face. We have no money for surgeries. She can't take it. I just want to see her smile again. Huh? I just want her to know that I don't care about the scars. So, I stick a razor in my mouth and do this to myself. And you know what? She can't stand the sight of me. She leaves. Now I see the funny side. Now I'm always smiling. <laughs> I don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. No. No, you. You complete me. You're garbage. You kills for money. Don't talk like one of them. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. To them, you're just a freak. Like me. They need you right now. When they don't, they'll cast you out. Like a leper. You see, their morals, their code. It's a bad joke. We've dropped at the first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. Do you want to know why I use a knife? Guns are too quick. You can't savor all the little emotions. And you see, in their last moments, people show you who they really are. So in a way, I knew your friends better than you ever did. Would you like to know which of them were cowards? You see, I'm a guy of simple taste. I enjoy uh, dynamite and gunpowder and gasoline. And you know the thing that they have in common? They're cheap. Do I really look like a guy with a plan?
You know what I am? I'm a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do with one if I caught it. You know, I just do things. The mob has plans. The cops have plans. Gordon's got plans. You know, they're schemers. Schemers trying to control their little worlds. I'm not a schemer. I try to show the schemers how pathetic their attempts to control things really are. They just did what I do best. I took your little plan and I turned it on itself. Look what I did to this city with a few drums of gas and a couple of bullets. Hmm? You, you know what I noticed? Nobody panics when things go according to plan. Even if the plan is horrifying. If tomorrow I tell the press that like a gangbanger will get shot. Or a truckload of soldiers will be blown up. Nobody panics. Because it's all part of the plan. But when I say that one little old mayor will die. Well then everyone loses their minds. Introduce a little anarchy. Upset the established order, and everything becomes chaos. I'm an agent of chaos. Oh, and you know the thing about chaos? It's fear. Uh, you. You just couldn't let me go, could you? This is what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. You truly are incorruptible, aren't you? Huh? You won't kill me out of some misplaced sense of self-righteousness. And I won't kill you because you're just too much fun. I think you and I are destined to do this forever. See, madness, as you know, is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> oh. <laughs>